Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Kate Garraway fought back tears as she comforted Barnaby Weber's mother during Friday's Good Morning Britain. Emma Weber appeared on the program after marking the first anniversary of her son's death by visiting the street on which he was killed. 19-year-old university student, Barnaby, was the first victim of Valdo Calacane who had been laying in wait down a dark alley before he attacked the young man. The paranoid schizophrenic, 32, then stabbed his friend Grace O'Malley Kumar, 19, to death as she bravely came to Barnaby's defense. A year after the tragic loss of her son, Emma wiped away tears as she reflected on Thursday's poignant vigil that saw the street lined with university students. Kate also became emotional and tried to comfort Emma during the raw interview with a hug. Co-host Robert Rinder then described Barnaby's death as every parent's worst nightmare. Emma then said, you say it's every parent's worst nightmare, which it is, but Sinead O'Malley Kumar says it's every parent's worst reality, and it is, no one can imagine until you're in. She continued, I still don't really believe it. Emma revealed her heartbreaking fears for the precious final text exchanges with her beloved son as phone theft runs rampant in Britain. Callicane, who murdered Barnaby in Grace, also stabbed 65-year-old father and school caretaker, Ian Coates, and then stole his van, using it to run over three pedestrians, who survived. Since the incident, Callicane has been given an indefinite hospital order for the manslaughter of the three in Nottingham on June 13 last year. A year after the tragic loss of her son, Emma shared fears of losing her phone, which contains their precious final exchange, due to the worrying rise in phone theft rates. Recently, one incident saw a woman's mobile was snatched by a thief on an e-bike whilst she strolled down a road in Marylebone. The Metropolitan and City of London police forces have said they are tackling the crime spree head-on by running a targeted operation. The operation was started due to the rise authorities saw in phone snatching in 2022, which carried on into last and this year. However Britain's phone theft epidemic has raised fears for grief-stricken mother, Emma. I was watching the news last week when there was talk about mobile phone crime and the swiping of phones, she told Good Morning Britain. I just thought you could take anything but I couldn't lose that because it's that precious. The devastated mother last looked at their final exchange on Barnaby's birthday on January 11th, confessing she sometimes still doesn't really believe her son has died. I haven't looked at it. I think the last time I looked at that text was the 11th of January, which is his birthday and I haven't since, she said. It's unfathomable you said it's every parent's worst nightmare which it is. Sinead O'Malley Kumar, Grace's mother, says it's every parent's worst reality. And it is, no one can imagine. S. Ohm times I still don't really believe it. The final text she received from Barnaby was a series of eye roll emojis alongside, yes, yes as his mother told him to get a job for the summer break. Nonetheless, what was initially a, a flippant momentary thing, has become a treasured and guarded memory for the grieving mother, who always keeps them on her phone. This comes shortly after the families of the three Nottingham attack victims came together to remember them a year after their murder. On Thursday, hundreds of friends and fellow students joined Grace's parents, Dr. Sanjoy Kumar and Dr. Sinead O'Malley, as well as her brother, James, and Barnaby's dad and brother, David and Charlie Weber, to visit the scene on Ilkeston Road, Nottingham. It was on that road that Calicane, 32, killed the three victims. Lee Coates, the son of Ian, was also in attendance for the emotional remembrance event and embraced Barnaby's mother Emma Weber as the family members gave speeches and held a two-minute silence for the three victims at the University of Nottingham campus. Many wept as they left floral tributes to the victims, with members of Grace's family placing bunches of roses on the pavement in her memory. In a joint statement read out during the service, the victims' relatives said they would take time to remember the souls of the three vibrant, caring, hardworking and much-loved family members who